an accumulation of fluid in the pleural space is known as a pleural fusion. When it's secondary to cancer, we use the terminology a malignant pleural fusion. There are many different ways to address this. One is to confirm what the diagnosis is by performing a traditional thoracentesis. Sometimes we may place a chest tube and try to cause the two pleura to fuse together. This can be done through a variety of drugs or done in the operating room. Another option would be using a Plurex catheter, which we'll be talking about today. This is an indwelling permanent catheter in our patients that will help drain the pleural space and can induce that pleurodesis, which is the two pleura being fused together. Optimal positioning for the patient is one of two ways. Number one would be with the patient supine in a 45 degree incline, or I look for the mid axillary line and we'll mark this with a marking pen. Or with the patient in the lateral decubitus, meaning the patient is on their side with the pleural effusion closest to the physician. And I would perform the procedure with marking the optimal place. I usually would place the pleurex in the mid axillary line and will tunnel either towards the umbilicus or around five centimeters down, which is around four finger spaces. So this is the Plurex device. We are going to open the kit and run through what comes inside of the kit. It's very important for the physician, the resident, the student to know what's available when you open this device. In running through the material provided, you will have a scapula, you will have a dressing kit that will be placed on the patient after the device is appropriately inserted. It will come with chlorhexidine to sterilize the space when the device is placed. It will come with a connector that will demonstrate when connecting it to a bottle or tubing to help drain the space. And the most important part of this kit is going to be the Plurex catheter itself. This will be the tunneled catheter that we'll place in our patient's pleural space. It also comes with its own dressing. It also will come with two different types of needles that help secure the catheter, both a curved and a straight needle. When placing the catheter, it comes with important dilators that come both in an 8 and a 12 French. It will come with a tunneling bar to help tunnel the catheter, which we will demonstrate. And it will also come with an introducer with a tearaway sheath, and we'll demonstrate how to use this when tunneling the catheter. It also comes with a guide wire, as well as different needles for insertion. We will demonstrate some of the finer points of the kit, including things such as this Christmas tree, when we talk about connecting the Plurex to things such as a vacutainer or a Pleurovac. Make sure you have lidocaine to help numb the skin and the tunneling tract. It's very important to make sure that either your kit contains lidocaine, if not, to ask your nurse or staff to provide you with some lidocaine for safe, painless placement of the catheter. Once we have all this set up, we are ready to place our catheter. When finding the optimal place to place the Plurex catheter, I use the ultrasound. As stated previously, you want to use the mid axillary line to mark the place. However, the ultrasound will show you where the best pocket of fluid will be. When finding the optimal place, I would palpate the ribs and traditionally the pleurex is placed in between the 6th and 7th intercostal space. However, as stated previously, you will also use your ultrasound to optimize that placement. After I found the optimal place, I need to mark where my tunneling entry point will be. As stated previously, you could tunnel towards the patient's umbilicus or you can make a 5 centimeter mark perpendicular to the initial X that you've marked. While I'm getting set up, I will open my Plurex catheter. When I look at the Plurex catheter, there's going to be the end that will be exposed from the patient where I'll connect it to various devices such as the bottle, such as a vacutainer or a syringe if necessary. And the other end of the catheter will be inside the pleural space of the patient. As you can see, there are fenestrated holes in the catheter. This allows drainage of the pleural fluid. It's an option based upon the size of the patient that you may take the scapula, which is provided in the kit, and to actually shorten the length of the fenestrated tip in order to have an ease of placement. Prior to starting, I will take my metallic tunneling device and attach this to the fenestrated end. 
I will also make sure that my dilating devices are at arm's distance. As stated previously, we have the 8 French as well as the 12 French, and we have the introducer, which comes inside this tearaway sheath. And I'll place it as such. I'd also want to make sure that my guide wire is easily available prior to placement of any of the dilators or introducers. So, first thing is to administer lidocaine to the patient. When we administer lidocaine, they come with a needle that we could use for the subcutaneous area. As stated, some kids come with lidocaine. If not, you could have your nurse uh, bring some lidocaine for you. When administering the lidocaine, you would make a wheel and flare around the marked area. I would use a generous amount of lidocaine. And also, using a longer needle, I would also inject the tunneling track. The longer needle is also available in the Plurex kit. I would inject once again subcutaneously towards the secondary mark. And also start from the secondary mark and inject towards your initial entry point. While at the second mark, you should make a secondary wheel and flare. I usually try to administer the lidocaine early to make sure the patient is well anesthetized prior to the procedure. Using my finder needle connected to a 10 ml syringe, I will fill in between the rib spaces. This is going to be marked by the X, which was used by Landmarks and the ultrasound. And using negative pressure on the syringe, I would insert the needle until I get a flashback of fluid. After finding the fluid, I would place my finger over the hub to prevent an entry of air or fluid. I will now use my guide wire and put it through the needle. It will be into the pleural space and now I will remove the needle. Now that we've successfully found the pleural fluid and our guide wire is in place, we will use our scapula and make a one to two centimeter incision around the wire. And we'll also make a one to two centimeter incision around the entry point where the tunneled catheter will be placed. Now I would use my tunneling catheter to go through the second the initial entry point, through the subcutaneous tissue, and exit next to the guide wire. I will make sure that the hub is securely placed at least one centimeter past the entry point. Now I will remove the tunneling device and will use my dilators over the guide wire to help open a pathway to the pleural space without losing the wire and holding distal to the catheter I will push down once in the pleural space this is with the 8 French I will do this also with the 12 French. And now I will use the introducer with the breakaway sheath. This device may come separate in the kit. You would take the introducer 
into the breakaway sheath. And after dilating, this will be placed through the guide wire, holding it at the tip once again. It will be inserted into the pleural space. And then I would take out the introducer first. Then I will release the guide wire. And I will take the pleurex catheter and insert this into the breakaway sheath. This should be inserted smoothly and without resistance. And as I am inserting, I will break away the sheath. And as I am pulling it, the sheath apart, I will insert the catheter. Pulling the sheath apart and inserting the catheter and pulling the sheath apart and inserting the catheter until the catheter is securely placed underneath the skin without any kinks. And when you palpate over the skin, you would feel a smooth catheter. Now that we successfully placed the catheter, how do we train? That's gonna be the most important question. Some devices I have here to demonstrate are gonna be the Plurex bottle itself that comes with the device. I also have the traditional vacutainer that we've seen in the hospital many a times. And also I would have a pleural vac which we use when we connect our traditional chest tubes. So now this is gonna be the patient. Here's the catheter. Let's connect it to the traditional Plurex bottle itself. The bottles come already with this catheter attached. You remove this area as a safety to make sure the bottles do not get primed prior to use. And you would take the end of the catheter and attach it directly into the Plurex catheter. At this point, I would always want to make sure that the catheter is closed. Why? The initial drainage, if this is not sealed, could give a little discomfort to the patient. So before the fluid will flow, I prime down by holding it here and press down once. This is similar to puncturing the traditional vacutainers that we use in the bottles to create that negative pressure. Once it's punctured, I will open the lock to the catheter and fluid should flow out. Another way to connect this will be using a catheter that comes with the kit itself. And this catheter, which comes with the kit, can be attached to the Plurex catheter as follows. And this can be attached to a needle. And this needle can be punctured into a traditional vacutainer. And it would look as this. Next, we have a chest tube suction pleural vac. Another way to connect this would be to take the traditional end of the pleural vac. As you could tell, the key thing is, is the connection. In the Plurex kit itself, it comes with a device that looks like a Christmas tree. This will be attached to the end of the catheter that comes with the kit as follows. Now, in order for this to fit, we need to take a scalpula. I will remove this. And this could actually, in this case, be easily connected to the Christmas tree device. And you will have a good seal. And this can be connected to suction. Please follow these steps to successfully place your Plurex catheter. If you have any further questions, please go to my website. <laughs>